before we even get started in this video, I need to acknowledge and just point out this big pimple on my forehead. It has been here for like five days and it's stressing me out so bad because I don't really understand why. I don't understand why it's there. I think, I, I really think it's a stress bump because even when my time of the month is approaching, I don't break out. I just don't break out. So I really feel like it's a stress bump. I've really been going through a lot and you know my family will we're still dealing with the passing of my dad so it's a lot of stuff that's coming along with that and there's actually like a few videos that have been on my heart that I really want to make and I just really don't feel like it's time for me to make them and that's why I did the um makeup video the fashion video and the hair video because i really have videos on my heart but i feel like it's just not the right time for me to post those videos if that makes sense but i will be doing more young and christian videos this week and i'll be doing more i'm trying to find the best um angle and i'll be doing more vlog videos because i have my vlog camera now which is what i'm using right now and i wanted to make a vlog to let you guys know something that's really been on my heart something that i'm working on and that's being emotionally led i feel like as women the world tells us that it's okay to submit time our emotions and not physically saying okay you're a woman it's okay to be emotional but they make it okay they use it as an excuse thus making it okay for us to be emotional and when i say i mean men can be emotional too but me personally i found i find that god revealed something to me when i was in florida Two weeks ago, I was there for the marriage retreat for my church, The Gathering Oasis. I love my church. If you're in the Atlanta area and you're looking for a church home, definitely visit The Go. It's in Midtown Atlanta, and I promise you will not regret it. I've never regret step foot in, step, stepping foot in that church when I left my old church. So yeah, definitely come visit. But when I was at the marriage retreat and I was having quiet time with God on the beach and I was like, Lord, please show me the areas in which I can improve my relationship with not only my husband, but my relationship with you. And through improving my relationship with you, I'll improve my relationship with him automatically. So God showed me that one of the biggest issues in my life and across the board, the issues, you know, is something that hinders me from i think functioning 100 percent properly in relationships not just in marriage but in friendships and family and it's that i'm super emotionally led and i've i've been this way my entire life my mom will even tell you like i am an emotional person it has gotten better it has gotten a lot better especially now that i'm getting older it has gotten a lot better but I am super emotional. Like if something happens and it makes me angry, I will react off my emotions automatically. My emotions are no longer emotions. They're facts. And because they're facts, <laughs> I'm going to act off of them. And I find that emotions became a mini idol in my life. I find that I was submitting more to my emotions than I was to God. And in knowing that and in him revealing that to me, I'm like, okay, you know, I really thank you for revealing this to me. So now that I know that this is a problem, help me fix it, you know, strengthen me in this area. And you might be saying, okay, well, maybe I'm not emotionally led, but emotionally led could be when you have a long to-do list and you don't do any of it because you feel lazy. Emotionally led could be anger issues. It could be laziness. It can be emotionally led can mean anything. But I was emotionally led in a lot of areas of my life. So 
when you ask God for something, when you ask him for patience, when you ask him to strengthen you in kindness or strengthen you in submitting to him instead of your emotions, you will get tested. That's how God um, strengthens us. He tests us and we continually pass these tests and we overcome these tests and we come. How long have I been talking? And we've be, we become stronger in those areas. So the very next day, we were flying out from Florida and at the airport. Now, mind you, when we booked this, when we booked with our church for the marriage retreat, my last name was not my married last name. It was still Smith. So, of course, me not knowing when we decided that we were going to go on the marriage retreat, we thought we were still probably going to be courting. We didn't know that we were going to be married just yet. So I booked it under Smith. I booked it under my old last name. So, of course, this is an issue because my name is no longer Smith. So, I wasn't thinking about it because, guys, like, I have so much going on. It did not hit me. Chelsea packed his marriage license. But, luckily, like, I keep important documents. Like, I keep them. I will have it, like, maybe in a text message. So, I had the marriage license picture in a text message. And... It wasn't a copy. It was a picture of the official document. And it was okay in Atlanta. I flew through. They're like, okay, girl, just show us your phone. So I'm like, okay, well, maybe it'll be that way in Florida. So we get to the airport in Florida. Excuse me. I had some, what did I eat? I had a po' boy earlier, so I have minor heartburn. So we get to the airport, and the lady is like, no, boo. This is not going to work. You need to go over there to security. I'm like, we just spoke to security. They sent us over there to you. So she gets like major attitude. And then I get major attitude. And in the midst of it, I'm not thinking you're being tested. You're being tested. I'm thinking, you know, her, her customer service is poor. So I'm going to treat you how you treated me. You're going to talk to me funny. And I'm going to talk to you funny. So right afterwards, as we walk into the other portion, because we she was checking our bags so now we're going over to tsa and i'm like man i asked harold i'm like i failed that test he's like yeah you 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 failed that test and we get to tsa of course it's the same thing that she's telling us at baggage claim and the girl at baggage claim has a horrible attitude but i'm like you know what i'm just gonna breathe through this i'm gonna pray through this and i'm like god i know you're gonna work it out if I don't make it on this flight, you have a reason for me not making it on this flight. If I do make it on this flight, I just thank you for gracing me that I can get on this flight. So, you know, the girl has an attitude. She called somebody else over there and it ended up being a really, really nice girl. And she helps me out and I get on the flight. No problem. And afterwards, I'm just thinking over the whole situation. And I'm like, okay, I need to prepare myself for being tested in this area because I asked for this. So, Fast forward to today, I'm in a Walmart parking lot and <laughs> I'm sitting in my car messing with this camera because I was testing it in all types of light. I was testing it in natural light. I was testing it inside, outside, whatever. And this lady is going past my car. Now I have a white car going past my car with a basket with a, a little girl's bike on it. And she hits my car. So mind you, the camera is still rolling when this happens. So all of this is caught on camera. And I'm like, this lady did not just hit my car. So, and I'm not one of those people that's like super protective over their car, but I did work hard for that car. That car is my baby and I'm not just going to let nobody hit it, especially when I'm in it and I'm not going to say nothing. So I get out the car. I'm like, okay, let me go see if there's a scratch. Let me see if there's a scuff because if there's not, if there isn't a scratch or a scuff, I'm not going to trip. I'm going to charge to the game and I'm going to leave it alone. So... There's a scuff. It wasn't a scratch. It wasn't a dent. But nevertheless, what she did caused something to my car. So I go to her. She's putting her stuff in her car. I'm like, did you just hit my car with your basket? And she's like, no. She looked me dead in the face. And she's like, no. So her boyfriend was inside the car already. He gets out and he's like, what's going on? And I'm like, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to her. I'm like, you just hit your you just hit my car with your basket. I'm like, it's on video. I was playing with my camera and it's caught on video. She's like, no, I didn't. I didn't hit it. She's like, that's impossible for me. to. How is it impossible for you to hit my car when you just went right past my car with your basket? So her boyfriend goes over. He's like, well, let, let me take a look. And I'm thinking, regardless of if you take a look, that scuff is, that, that scuff is still there. 
So he goes over. He's like, no, there's definitely a scuff there. He's like, um, even though she isn't saying she hit your car, even if she did, you know, we're a couple. So if she did it, then I did it. And, um, you know, it's going to buff out. He's rubbing it, and it is rubbing out. And he's like, I'll give you some cash to get your whole car detail. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. Because, mind you, I'm not going to get your insurance information for a scuff on my car. I just want you to say, you know what? I did go past your car, and maybe I did scuff it. So I'm sorry. But if you consistently lie, if you consistently I don't know what a conversation was going when, when she, I noticed she was consistently lying. But I'm just glad that her boyfriend was there because I don't know where it was going. Because I was not giving up. Well, I don't know. If the Lord would have said give up, I would have gave up. But at that point, I was not giving up because I'm like, you hit my car. And y'all, like, I, I do love my car again. I'm not a freak behind my car, but it is a car that I worked very, very hard for. So... <clears throat> So, yeah, so I get the cash, and I'm just going on about my way, going in Walmart. I tell the guy, thank you, and I just push it through. Now, mind you, throughout the whole situation, she's like, I did not hit your car. I did not hit your car. So I'm going in Walmart, and I'm like, you know what? I'm proud of myself because old Chelsea, I wouldn't have even went on the other side to see any scratch. I would have went at her neck straight away. So I'm like, you know what? I'm proud of myself because that, that could have went so many other ways. So, you know, I'm really just thanking God. Like, you know what? I thank you. Like, even though these tests are hard because a lot more happened besides those three instances has, has happened since I came from Florida and since praying that prayer, a lot more has happened. But I'm like, you know what? You're strengthening me in this area. So please give me the grace to continuously pass these tests because, you know, you're God over my life. My emotions aren't God over my life. I don't submit myself to my emotions. I submit myself to you. So I was I was not happy <laughs> that that happened to my car, but I was happy with the reaction that I had to it. And I'm making this video to say that if you guys are dealing with that and you feel like, man, I'm really lit by my emotions, definitely pray to God and ask him to strengthen you in that area because trust me, he will. It won't be easy, but it'll be worth it. And you'll see so many of your other relationships flourish. And you'll notice certain things don't even bother you anymore because you're not submitted to your emotions. You're submitted to God and you can rein those emotions in. So, yeah, <laughs> I just wanted to get that out. And, yeah, I'm going to go get ready for church tomorrow because it is getting late. And, um, yeah, and I don't have my ring on in this video, guys, because I don't wear it to sleep. Because I rub my face a lot in my sleep. And one time that is that ring scratched my eye. So I take it off at night. So that's just a FYI. Because somebody has asked me that before. I don't think I had my ring on in a video I recorded at night before. So just a FYI. Anywho, if you made it this far through this video, thank you for watching. I'll definitely be vlogging a lot more. So you guys stay safe. Hopefully you're hearing from the Lord tomorrow, whether you're in church or you're at home. But if you are able-bodied and are able to go to church, definitely go to church. Do not forsake the gathering of believers. Bye. <laughs>